Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I wanted to talk about something that I feel like I have a passion about when it comes to finding designer dupes or designer alternatives when it comes to different types of clothes, accessory, and things like that. We all love designer clothing. They're great, they're beautiful. Sometimes there's very iconic pieces, but they are not wallet friendly whatsoever. There are a number of different types of iconic designer pieces that I'm certain every girl would love to have in their closet and would love to eventually own at some time. But for now, I decided to do a little bit of homework or a little bit of research to find some alternatives or dupes that are out there that are very similar looking, use really great quality materials and still look just as great so that you don't have to break the bank when it comes to finding things that look very similar to iconic designers pieces. So first off this list is one of the most iconic raincoats in the world and that is the Burberry trench coat. There are many different types of Burberry trench coats. They have the Kensington, the Waterloo, the Chelsea and so many other different styles but we all know the Burberry trench coat to have its iconic camel color with a belt that kind of wraps around the waist to give it a bit of a cinched look but it's also great to at least keep you dry in rainy weather but still look just as great instead of just wearing you know Gore-Tex jackets or anything that just looks a little bit more athletic masculine or anything like that it adds a bit of shape to you it adds a little bit of style to you especially during days where you know it rains a lot but these jackets can typically range for about three thousand dollars which it's just crazy sometimes when you think about the fact that the jackets can cost that much. And they are made of the shower resistant material. Now $3,000 is quite a bit of money, so I decided to find some alternatives that look very similar off of really great quality materials. So here are some of my suggestions for some Burberry trench coat alternatives. The first one is the Uniqlo trench coat, which sells for $130. And this jacket honestly I think looks very similar to the Burberry trench coat because it also includes a belt as well to give you a cinch look, adds a bit of shape when you're walking around, and is also in a great material too. But it's doesn't break the bank at $130. The next one on my list is actually one that I own, which is the London Fog trench coats. And London Fog is a classic brand that I swear by. I almost feel like it, you know, they copy a lot of different styles from Burberry, especially when it comes to the rain wear type of stuff, but I find the material to be just as great as Burberry, so that's why I own a couple of things from them. But a lot of their trench coats right now are on sale on their website for about $120, so I think this is a great steal to have, and I think it's definitely worth jumping on if you're looking for a new type of rain trench coat to wear. So here is the London Fog coat that I have, which is very much similar to the Burberry Trench one, which also includes a belt that wraps around the jacket, comes in a nice black material, and I found this actually to be really great during rainy weather, especially during showers, because it comes with a little hood as well, so it's very cute looking, great material, and I honestly think this is probably the best brand to get if you're looking for a dupe for Burberry when it comes to their rain trench coats. And lastly, Ted Baker has a jacket that they call the Robbie, which is still for $600, which definitely costs more, but still is less than $3,000, obviously, and still offers a really great style. Number two on designer dupes is the Gucci logo belt. The double GG logo belt became so popular from Gucci a couple years ago. I felt like every girl freaking had this belt. If it was in a small size, medium, or large, if it came with ones that had pearl around the Gs, like it doesn't matter, but I just swear I saw this on everybody all the time, or everybody was on the hunt for one or wearing fakes or whatever it is but this became so popular a couple of years ago but I'm starting to see it kind of return right now with a lot more girls starting to wear the logo belts if that's Gucci or Celine or other types of brands especially in the yellow gold material but these belts typically sell for a couple of hundred dollars the Gucci belt sells for specifically six hundred forty dollars retail and some other ones as well can cost around that range where it's about six hundred to eight hundred dollars for a leather belt that comes in a yellow gold logo for the front but if you don't want to spend six hundred forty dollars especially like I do here are some of the dupes one brand that I really like and I've started to be and I've started to really appreciate them a lot more is coach coach has a logo belt that they sell for $52 on their website that comes with the iconic double C but the thing I love about it most is that it's very symmetrical it's not like for example the G the Gucci belts that have just the double G this one are pretty much facing each other so they're very symmetrical looking and it looks very even and very nice to wear and the good thing too is that it's not obvious to say that it just screams that it's coach another brand that I found that was very new and hopefully something you appreciate is from a brand called Celique Vest Vachetta from a website called Brave. These belts are retailed at $125. They're made in Canada from a vegetable tan type of leather, but they have such a classic trendy type of look to the belts, and I think they're actually really great material to have. 
and I think are actually maybe even better than the Gucci belts based off how they look. So I would recommend looking into these guys as an alternative for the Gucci logo belt. Number three, so this next one is one that maybe you'll see every now and then. They were definitely a brand that was brought up a couple years ago, but they still are, they still kind of pop in and out. And that brand is Balmain. And the most iconic piece from this brand is, is their double-breasted blazer. And this double-breasted blazer is such a classic, timeless piece that you can easily throw on top of anything. You see with girls going out wearing with jeans and a nice little white t-shirt or white tank top underneath. You can easily wear this to work anytime. And the great thing with this is that it just kind of creates such a nice little elegant piece. And it also adds a little bit of shoulder pads too. So it adds a bit of a boss babe look to your outfit. Price is not as great as it's real at $2,900. However, I did find a couple of alternatives that look very similar in style if you're looking for something that's very timeless, classic, trendy, but also very elegant to wear. The first alternative I found was the Banana Republic Captain Blazer. And this blazer is listed at $290, so this is about a tenth of the price of the Balmain blazer, but it looks so similar in style that I almost don't feel like you can even find a difference between the two, really. Next up is a brand that I've seen a little bit every now and then, and this is Lily Silk. But they have a blazer as well that's very similar to have the double-breasted buttons for $189. And lastly, the classic, of course, is Zara. So Zara has its own double-breasted blazer they sell for $100. And like I mentioned in a previous video, their blazers are considered to be really great quality. A lot of people trust it. People who even like buying designer things or expensive things trust Zara blazers because they're that good. So I would trust this one as well. Next up is the Gucci loafers or what they also call the Jordans. What I love about these shoes is that they can easily be dressed up or down. They look very elegant, very put together, can easily kind of just finish off an outfit because they come in a nice black leather material with a nice yellow gold hardware onto the shoe that kind of adds a little bit of something to it. This is something you can easily use to look a lot more elegant and you can easily dress it up or down no matter what the occasion is. However, the one thing that is looking down on this is the price. These shoes are retailed for $1,200 just for a leather pair of loafers. However, I did find a couple of others that are very similar in quality that I think you should definitely consider. So like I mentioned before with the belts, Coach also offers really great shoes and they have a pair called the Haley Loafers that I actually find to be so similar to the Gucci ones. So these are the ones that I have, which I think look so similar to the Gucci ones. They also come in a leather material with a gold hardware to them, but they are so comfy to wear. I love wearing these to work all the time or even if I'm going out with friends, but they just add something to your outfit that is just so nice and elegant. And these right now are retail at $159 on their website. So I think this is a steal comparing to the Gucci loafers and they're just as great a material. Another brand that I recommend is Sam Edelman and that's because all of their shoes are great. Not even just the ones that I'm gonna mention, but just all the shoes that they offer, if that's their heels, flats, boots, highly recommend this brand. So they also have a pair of their own loafers that are sold for $110, which also look just as similar as, as the Gucci ones and look, and they also offer really great material too. So right now the Lior loafers are on, on sale right now for $110, which is also a really great price and I think is a steal to have. And they also use a real leather material, so they will look just as good as the Gucci ones and look very similar as well. And lastly, let's talk about one of the most iconic jewelry pieces that I'm starting to see on everybody's wrist and that is the Cartier love bracelet. I feel like this bracelet is pretty much on every girl's list to own once in their life just because it has the iconic yellow gold material or if you, of course you want the white gold material with the little circles that go around it but they actually look really classy especially if you pair them up with a watch or some other jewelry that you have and you kind of match everything well together I think it actually looks really great to have but what it does not pair well with is with your wallet as it's retailed at $9,200 dollars which is mind-boggling expensive especially for a piece of jewelry but because there's been such a high demand for this bracelet and you're seeing it a lot more on influencers and people promoting it this is probably why the bracelet costs a lot more now than it did previously so the retail price is quite a bit for this bracelet so it's a lot to give somebody but there are other types of bracelets that I recommend that you should definitely look into number one Swarovski offers their own tactic bangle bracelet and this is being sold for $195 which offers a cute studded pattern all along the bangle bracelet with different crystals. So it kind of has a bit of a Valentino type of look to it with the studs. But I think it's something that looks just as similar to the Cartier Love bracelet and it looks really nice and classy to wear. Next up is the Tory Burch Miller Studded Bracelet and this is being sold for $260 and offers its iconic logo onto the bracelet. And I know a lot of the Tory Burch jewelry pieces, I've actually had a couple of my friends own some of their stuff and they really do like their brand quite a bit. So I definitely recommend looking into their bangles or even to some of the other jewelry they have because I've only really heard good things from Tory Burch when it comes to their jewelry line. So I hope this video kind of gave you guys a couple of options 
for some designer alternatives if you're looking for something that looks similar to some of the most iconic pieces that are out there and then you can look for other pieces that won't really cause you to break the bank or you won't have to really you know have to spend so much money on and you can find something that looks so similar and has really great materials so that you can look just as stylish with or without those designer pieces so i'll offer a couple of other alternatives in a future video because there's definitely a lot of iconic pieces from different types of designers but of course i've got to do a little bit of research for that but until then i will see you guys in the next video